Hi everybody, it's Julie, and happy Monday. I'm having trouble getting started this morning, but we have our Monday mini challenge and the challenge 1.223. So that means it's our second one for January 2023, and we are going to be playing with a cookie cutter, no substitutions, a cookie cutter. Four doilies is what you get to add to your, your kit. You get to add the cookie cutter to your kit if you are doing the January Just Junk Journal Challenge 2023. Um, and you do this mini challenge, you get to unlock some items. So the other thing you get to unlock is three pens or pencils. And yes, they can be watercolor pencils this time. But you're going to have to be creative on a brush. Because I'm not going to give you a brush. If you're you can watercolor, you can use your finger. <laughs> Maybe your brush can be your one free item. I don't know. But um, I knew I was going to get that question. So yeah, you can use them. But you're going to have to figure out how to, how to use them. Okay? Um... So three pens, pencils, three pens or pencils. I have my two stamp pads that I've already unlocked. And I'm going to be using music paper from my book. Remember, I chose a music book as my used book. And I have a piece of my dyed avocado, avocado dyed paper. So to start off with, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to make my, have this ready. Okay, so this is, I'm also going to be making the tuck with flip, which is one of the required items for this challenge. I, I don't want to, just because I'm doing this video on a Monday, I don't want to lose that day. So, um, it's on our second page here. Corner tuck with flip. So, we're going to be making somewhere in this, there will be a corner tuck with a flip. So, I'm going to take this page. I'm going to go ahead and cut this. I'm going to be doing a really simple one. However, the way that I'm going to get to it, not so simple. Okay, so there I've got my corner tuck with flip. Let's make sure it's going to fit where I'm going to want it and um, and how I want it to go in here. I think I want that full area. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fold this over. And that's just my little measurement here. And then I can go ahead and cut that. And, okay. So that is going to be my corner tuck. Um, corner tuck with a flip. And that's going to go right there. Okay. Um, so, you have your page. You have your doily. You're going to be using your three pens. So page, doily, three pens. And um, probably gonna, you're going to need your stamp pad and your cookie cutter. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take... I actually decided I liked the black. I did try this before. Okay. So, um, I'm going to ink my cookie cutter. And I'm going to put it underneath my music page. Okay, so just like this. And I'm going to go ahead and I am... Um, we're going to get an embossed image plus we'll have the ink it'll be a little messy which is kind of kind of cool okay so there's our messy 
And so for this one, we can cut this one out, okay? So just, you're gonna cut out one of your, one or more of your cookie cutters and have that ready to use somewhere in your journal, okay? So cookie cutter shape, cut out of uh, your book or your calendar. Okay, so that's that's what we're doing here. And up here we got a little messy, so let's figure out the best the best place. So I was trying to figure out how we could get some more of our theme in if we wanted to so if you have a cookie cutter that goes with your theme that's going to be great um if all you have is a you know a biscuit cutter and it's a circle that's fine if all you have is a heart you know any cookie cutter is going to work and you can do this with the plastic ones as well. But I did find that putting it over the top rather than stamping it like a stamp worked better. Okay, so we're gonna, we've got that cut out. We're gonna put that aside. Okay. And now we have, since <laughs> the thing is, is now we've added some ink on there. And so this is a, co a cookie cutter and I'm on the, the wrong side, okay? So I don't know if I showed you that, but I'm on the wrong side. I have an Eiffel Tower that's made in the USA. How cool is that? <laughs> um, and this hangs in my kitchen. It's, it's, always, it's not always in my kitchen, but for several of the ways that I do my kitchen, it has a, a place that it lives. Okay, so here we go. I have my page. Okay, and I'm going to put this on and try and be straight. Okay. And I want the ink. And I like the embossing as well. I think that's kind of fun especially from the other side which what I'm going to be doing I just put this on the wrong side that's okay that just means we're gonna to have to turn this over the other way so before I forget okay it is it is situated okay Okay, now I'm going to take my gold pen. Now, you are going to decorate your cookie <laughs> cutter some way, somehow, however you want to with your three pens or pencils. You can have a mixture of pens and pencils. And I'm going to start by doing this little crosshatch thing for my Eiffel Tower. You could fill it with dots. You could, um, you could use this, okay? You could use this as your mask and do something with it there. Okay, so all those things, but you're using just what we've got here. Okay, then we're going to come this way. I'm going to start at the bottom. Okay, my cross hatches are going to come into each other. I'm getting a little more brave and they're coming further across, which is good. Okay, now to finish this up, I'm going to go ahead and go um, just kind of up like this. And then I'm going to go in from this side and in from this side. 
will go a little higher. Okay. So there we have my Eiffel, my doodle of the Eiffel Tower. Okay. Now I was like, okay, what am I going to do with my other two pens? Well, I I'm going to go ahead and I am going to make a vine. Okay. So just one side, second side, across the middle. I think I want some of this to come up off the edge. Okay. Okay, and then decide, do I want to come across it? Or do I just want the... Okay, so you, yes, you do have to use your three pencils on your doodle, okay, or pens. Okay, um, let's see. I'm wishing this had a double edge. If your pens have double edges, yes, you can use both sides. I know we'll get that question as well. I guess we get that question whenever I <laughs> offer that we get to use pens. So yes, you can use both sides. And if you have one of those clicker pens that has like 20 colors, take, go for it. That can be one of your pens. I did have one of those as my pen one time. Okay. And then we're gonna come in and I'm just gonna add some pink dot flowers. And you can copy mine or anybody else's. Please, if you um, get a design from somebody else, uh, you know, <laughs> go ahead and tell us who it was and where you got it. Okay, I'm wondering... It doesn't really, um, I'm going to put them on there anyway. Okay. I was going to, um, I was hoping to, oh yeah, there we go. On this paper, it's working better. Okay. So I'm doing swirly roses. So once you unlock a pen, you're going to be able to use these in other places in your journal. Okay. Okay. So there's that. So you can do something as simple as, um, you know, doing a patchwork type thing. Um, let's see. Okay, so there's, so you could take, you can barely see my, um, my thing behind there, but you could just go ahead and uh, cut your, whatever it is that you're doing into a patchwork. And then you could do the, you know, the hatch thing. You could do circles. Depending on what style your journal is that you're making, um, you do. Straight on lines. This is inside your cookie cutter. Okay. 
And of course, cookie cutter is going to have an outline. I'm using the back side of, of one of the Eiffel Towers. Okay. Um, you can just go. Little flowers. Have stars. You can turn it into plaid. Okay, so just plain with your don't be afraid, just go for it. Okay, so, <laughs> oops, up here we didn't, uh, let's see, you can color it in if you want to. You guys know I don't like to color in because I don't do well at coloring in the lines. Okay, so. If you want to doodle like something like that, then go right ahead, however you want to doodle. There you go, okay? So we have um, used our cookie cutter and stamped an image. Um, we have taken our doodle and gone ahead and added that there. So I have, these are my three pins for this day. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in a, um, this, I had not chosen my regular pin yet. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this to, to help with the, um, the definition there of my my leaves okay and I'm just gonna put on one side and the little middle thing okay so just adding so it's um, kind of wispy not This is Julie being Julie, okay? <laughs> there you go, okay? And then if you want to, you can come in and go around in here. Give them a little more definition. I'm liking it. I'm liking it so much more now. Oh my gosh. Um, so, and you can practice before you you before you do your actual but there we go we have journaling space here we have our Eiffel Tower um, now for this side this side is going to eventually get our our little doohickey but what I want to do is I want to make this a um a tuck space also so that's why i have a larger piece here okay and i'm gonna look and i can go all the way up to this spot right here okay and i'm actually gonna sort of mark that 
See if I want to go around this a little more now that I have this pin that I've added from as one of my free items. I had not added a pin. Now I've lost my spot. <laughs> okay, we'll go in right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is this is for, um, this is not required part. Okay, so this is going to get moved because I'm going to move it to the first place that I thought it should be. Okay, I'm going to make a little tuck spot here. And yes, remember, craft knife is on your list of items that you can use. And so I'm going to start it below, below that. And I'm going to cut along here, right along my um, Eiffel Tower is what I'm going to do. This is not a required part of this. But this, again, is Julie being Julie. Okay, I want to... Okay, so there we have a little tuck spot, tuck space right there that we can put something in. And of course your cutting boards are free. You, you've got to have cutting boards, okay? So um, just know that your cutting boards are free. I'm putting this, I'm moving it to with the envelope punch board because that's where I looked for it. Um, you know, one of the things about organization is, you know, where would I look for it first? Put it there. Put it there now. That's what the take my house back people say. Okay, so I'm now going to turn this over and I am going to add my little um, tuck space here. Okay, I still have, well, I have, I have a doily. Okay, so I have a doily. I think that would be really pretty. And I will, yeah, probably put, let's go ahead. We're going to glue that on so it can be gluing while I'm doing the next, the next thing. So, oh, I hear the radio this morning. We are, we're having, um, Southern California is having rain today. So the radio will be on. And going, and I need to turn on my other, the, the emergency broadcast radio that they gave us. And that just tells you, um, you know, where they're, where they're evacuating and things like that. Um, it's important to me because, um, we, that's, that's one of the volunteer things that we do is disaster preparedness. And I could get called out to, um, to an area to help. So I just, oh, I need to hem my pants. <laughs> I got, I got new volunteer pants. I need to hem them. Tom goes, you will hem these, right? You know somebody that can do that. <laughs> I haven't done it yet. Okay, so this is going to go over. I want to make sure that it's going to cover that. So it's going to do double duty. I'm going to be able to put something in from here, and it's going to be stopped by that, but I'm also going to be able to put something in from here. Okay, so... Um, for this corner tuck, I need to do three things to embellish or enhance it. So we've added a doily, which is one. Okay. So that will pop up. We can journal on here. I am good with this. I think that is going to be journalable. Um, now, for with your doily, 
you can use your doily as a as a stencil. I know you're gonna, some of you are going to be so excited to have a doily. Um, and I'm thinking, see my two pads, I have gold and I have black. We can try this. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, this will be my gold. Okay. So, you are to use your doily, one of them at least, as a stencil somewhere. This does not count as your creative stenciling. This is extra. Okay. I almost forgot to, that I needed to put stencils in and um, I saw some people are already using them. That's cheating. <laughs> so this video is for the January Just Junk Journal Challenge here on the Dear Julie Julie channel. And I'm showing you some of the ways that I am doing the required elements. So this, this is a, a required element, but it doesn't, this one doesn't count. This is for your mini challenge in the challenge. You're going to be cu cookie cuttering, cutting out a cookie cutter. You're going to be stamping your cookie cutter and filling it in. Now, you don't have to do this on this page. Um, on this same page, you can do it on another page. Okay, we'll go ahead and go all the way in so that I don't know that any of that shows through anyway. Okay, so we have a light... It's like the really big moon. <laughs> okay, so we have that. And then I think we'll come over here and we'll do these edges, okay? So we're just taking part of the napkin. And I want, I want that. Um, let's see. Let's go to this one for this one. Okay. Oh, good. We see some, some shiny gold there. I like that. Okay. So just giving it a little... There's a lot of white space inside this doily though. Did you notice that? I was um, surprised how much white space you get. Even using the brush. Okay, so you can go back and, you know, give a little bit more color. Okay, so we've used a doily, we've stenciled, and a doily, and let's see, I think I want to do, I, oh, you guys, I don't, I didn't add this, did I? Well, how big is it? Okay, so an 80 inch piece of ribbon, we're going to add. <laughs> You can use it. Um, we're going to do the... Okay. 
Okay, we'll come in from this side and from this side for another antique ribbon closure. Okay, so we're gonna come in from the top. Let's see which side, this one has a point on it. So come in from the top, pull through, You know what? I'm not going to do the antique ribbon closure. I'm just going to tie a bow. The antique ribbon closure bow is um, it's cool, but it's complicated. I'm just going to add a bow there. I love that. Okay, so you get to add... Um, I'm going to tell you said eight inch so 12 inch piece of ribbon I used eight inches that's good I like that okay um then I'm gonna use a dear Julie Julie digital Ooh, or do I want to use that Ooh, I want to use that as the card that's gonna go in over here okay so remember, this is the crazy page that if it could go wrong, it did. I, but I, I was like, but I can use it for ephemera. Because remember, everywhere that you leave a tuck or a pocket, it has to have something in it in your finished journal for this challenge. Okay, so I'm just going to cut it like that. And it'll just fit right in there. Okay, fit right in there. I love it. Okay, so there's that. We gotta finish this side. <laughs> um, what do we have? We have this. Um, this is really pretty, actually. This bouquet of flowers. I'm going to decide if I want to fussy cut it. I think I do. Um, I think I'm going to come in. Go. I'm going to make my own petals, my own leaves. Okay, so I'm just cutting around it. You'll see I'm moving the paper, not the scissors. And these ones, um, they need to be cleaned. I need to get the alcohol out and clean them. They're not wanting to cut. Okay, we'll come over here. And we'll pretend and we'll grab a leaf from there. And we'll take that leaf. And we'll come back in around the pot. Okay. So, fussy cut that with the lines. <laughs> okay. So, there's that. And then I have from the other day, from the paint chip day. I have Moulin Rouge. What else? That's funny. I've got the same one in both i'm gonna go with this one and just go with the paris part of it do i want that one or the light peach oh there's one behind here ah look at there that's what we want oh maybe we want it on top yeah i think we can do that so we have a stamped image and we have a digital so we are good we've got we've added a ribbon a doily a digital ink by inking over that other doily stamped image yeah and we've decorated this little corner here okay 
put that down. And this could be a pocket, but um, I'm not going to make it a pocket. I don't want it to be any bulkier than, well, it could have been bulky because it's got a ribbon on it. Okay, but we didn't. Okay. Okay, so I'll need to eventually make something to go in there. Um, of course your doily, you can, you can do anything you want with your doilies. Um, you can go ahead and fold your doily and have it be part of the journal. Um, even after you have added the, um, you know, the inking. And so, uh, yeah. And eventually I think this is going to need a... Uh, paper clip here but that has to come after I do the binding of the journal okay so I we have our I lost my cookie cutter no there it is okay so you're going to use your cookie cutter and cut a piece out and add that to your kit and use that somewhere in your journal okay your other one you're going to stamp on a page and you're going to doodle on with your cookie cutter, okay? Now, um, you can do some doodling and some paper piecing. You could go ahead, um, you could cut this out and uh, make a patchwork, you know, cut five of them or whatever and make five of them that are throughout your journal. That might be kind of cool. Um So, yeah, so these I get to add, okay, I get to add these in, and um, I still have four inches more of ribbon that I can add. Okay, so you, for today, this is going to be my regular uh, pin from the free section. I'm going to add that to my, to my, um, challenge. I had already added the gold stamp and the black was, uh, from my free stuff from the beginning. I had picked out the black stamp pad. We get to add three pins, pencils, three pins or pencils today. And then you can use these in the rest of your journal, we get to add a cookie cutter, and you get to use that in the rest of your journal. And we get to add four, was it four or five? I don't remember. Four, four, four doilies, okay? And then you can use those in a variety of places when you do your mini challenge in the challenge, okay? So your mini challenge in the challenge is your cookie cutter cut out, your cookie cutter stamped image that's doodled, use your doily as a stenciled image, and use, your, use a doily as um, the background of something, okay? So stenciled and a background, and that is the challenge. So cookie cutter, cut out, cookie cutter, stamped, doodled, doily, stenciled, doily, used. And this is the corner tuck with flip that is a required item for this month's challenge. Okay, and then you'll have these to add into your those left over to add in and then you have these this this all of those that you get to add so you can make more cookie cutter cut cutouts you can stamp more images um you can 
play with this and figure out other things that you can do with it. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you do with your cookie cutter. And so, yeah, so this is our Monday mini challenge in the challenge. You will post your final, uh, your final pictures in the event that has been made in the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. You just add it in there. And um, so that we can all see it. And then you get to use these other items to finish your January Just Junk Journal Challenge journal. Oh my gosh, we have so many people that are so close to finishing and some that have already finished. Hooray. <laughs> um, and we have so many new people that have joined us. So welcome if you are new. Thank you for coming back for all of those that have come back. I've seen some names that I haven't seen in a while that are joining into the challenge. So I'm, I'm really excited for that as well. You guys have an amazing day. Find something to celebrate every day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.